if you want to know how I could possibly have taken this photo at one of Ontario's most famous landmarks in the middle of the night, then stick around. Last year, I booked a backcountry campsite on Flowerpot Island near Tobermory. It's one of six campsites on the entire island and it's only accessible by boat. So while the title was a little bit dramatic, it wasn't inaccurate. We really didn't have any way off the island until the boat came back to get us the next day, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I wanted to stay on Flowerpot Island for one reason, and that was to photograph the stars. And so I booked a random night, hoping that the weather would be clear, and boy, did we luck out. It was crisp and clear, and the sky was just gorgeous. I loved how the photos turned out. I can't wait to show you. I grabbed my friend Lindsay from I've Been Bit Travel, and we jumped on a boat, and it took us to Flowerpot Island. Now, this place is a very popular destination in Ontario. During the summer, it's busy all the time. But when you camp here and you're only one of six campsites, you feel like you have the entire place to yourself. So stick around and see how that whole adventure unfolded. Other than the fact that Flowerpot Island is gorgeous <laughs> and that camping here has been on my bucket list for a while, there's only one reason why we came here today and it's for stars. It's clear, <laughs> it's not too cold for mid-September, late September, yeah. and I'm just really excited. with our cameras. It's actually not as dark as it sounds like, or it seems, there's the moon right behind me. Um, but we're just gonna set up and wait for like an hour until the uh, stars really start shining and start taking photos. Excited? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we are. <laughs> so we got the cameras all set up and we're ready to take photos. Good morning from Flower Pond Island. Yes, even though we stayed up late last night taking photos of the stars, we decided to get up pretty early this morning for sunrise and boy, was it worth it. So there are only six campsites here in Flowerpot Island, and there's one bathroom for those six toilets. It's a composting vault toilet. So let me show you what it looks like. No garbage, please. So 
So this is what it looks like on the inside. This is what the toilet looks like. And basically what you do, you do your business and then you take a scoop of this, put it in there, and you're done. But beware, there are giant spiders. Look at the size of that thing. So that was it. One night of an incredible adventure that I will never, ever forget. To answer some of the questions that I get about this trip, one, yes, you have to carry all of your stuff to the campsite. That means carrying it on the boat, off the boat, and through a trail to the site. It's not very far, but it is really rocky and narrow. Two, the only way to get there is by boat. And there are only two operators that actually take you to the Flower Pot Island and let you off at Flower Pot Island. We took Blue Heron Cruises, but both of them are super comparable and both cater to campers. Three, there are only six campsites on the entire island. So uh, booking is really tight, um, but once you do go, you end up feeling like you're the only people there. It's incredible. Four, there are no campfires allowed. You can bring your like jet boil stove or whatever to make warm meals, um, but if you're only going for a little while, cold meals are fine too. Number five, as far as I know, there are no bears on Flower Pot Island, uh, but there are lots of critters. So each campsite comes with a tent platform, um, a picnic table, and a food locker that you can put all of your stuff in. I wrote a whole blog post about the experience, which I will link to in the description below. But if you do have questions, leave them in the comments and I'd be happy to answer them. That's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later. Bye.